leaned on one man. A free scoring performance when last we saw him. How about on this occasion? Stay with us. Well, the weather couldn't be much better from a footballing point of view. Welcome to Selhurst Park in South London. I'm Derek Ray, and sharing commentary with me, as usual, is Stuart Robson. And looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It's Crystal Palace taking on Chelsea. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game? And who will have the greater desire? It's... And a goal! An early boost for them. The first goal of the game. They're off and running. And back underway, 1-0 it is. Well, sometimes we look for an explanation and just can't find one, but the truth of the matter is Liverpool have been well below par. Goodness gracious me, how about that for technique? You can't strike them much better than that! So back underway with the scoreline standing at 2 0. Ezzy. And not a great challenge. Free kick here. Chance to make a game of it here. Well, it's great when you can rely on your keeper. Splendid defending, and it needed to be. Well, doesn't have to do it on his own. Well, it came to nothing in the end. Anderson. Wagner. Red convertible registration SMUG1. Please return to your vehicle immediately. Thank you. Oh, that's a really good run. Well, he was keen to give that one a go. Sadly, lacking a bit of accuracy. Well, big news from Milan fans. News on the transfer front. They've got their man, Stuart. Well, he's a great talent. Hopefully, this move will see him play at his best week in, week out. It's a really good move for everybody. Chilwell. And I'm hearing that something has happened in the City game. Let's hear all about it from Alex. It's a goal from Manchester City. They've scored the opener here with 19 minutes on the clock. Thank you, Alex. Antonio Sanabria feeding it through and they could do damage might still be able to do a bit of damage and he gobbles up the second chance disappointment for the keeper no wonder he's asking questions of his defence well here we can see it again normally I'm the first to point the finger at a goalkeeper but I think it's a good initial save I'm not sure he could have done much more just a bit unfortunate really that it dropped to an opponent Palace are still trailing here, but this game is very much a contest. No two ways about that. Sterling has lost custody of it. Ezzy. Could cross it in here. Chance to equalise. Well, he would have been disappointed had he spilled that one.
Really good challenge. Encouraging move from Crystal Palace. Might be a chance to break. Oh, danger here. Real chance. And Chelsea have done it. It's going to be so difficult to stop them now. Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace in transition. They're so quick to get out from the back. And then from that sort of range, Sterling was never going to miss. It's a well-worked goal. So they get the ball moving again. 3-1 the scoreline here. What's going to happen next? Antonio Sanabria. Shot attempted and gobbled up with ease by the keeper. Thiago Silva. And Chelsea looking dangerous. Now disappointing end to the move. Antonio Sanabria. Good use of advantage. And he's through here. And nicely parried away. And Kunku. And he's made headway. Oh, that is a super save. Well, he had to finish that, but credit to the goalkeeper. That's a brilliant stop. Well, that's very good refereeing to let the play flow. Ezzy. It was on its way in, and the referee says penalty. to pull one back here can they put it away well they can keep possession now Enzo Fernandez. so two minutes of stoppage time to be added on that's what you call defending from the front possibilities here oh and it goes now he has his hat trick a special moment for him And so the first half has come to an end here at Selhurst Park. Well, Christopher and Kunku really taking this game by the scruff of the neck. Not that that should come as any great surprise to those who watch him a lot. Well, what can you say about him today? He's been a real live wire, full of tricks, great feet and good goals as well. Top stuff. And the ball is rolling again. Palace left with a mountain to climb here in the second half. Can they respond? This looks promising. But a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. Fernandez. And they need to get tighter here. He's blocked it! And don't forget, we have more Premier League action coming up for you on EA TV. It's Crystal Palace facing Everton. Well, that should be a really good game between two entertaining teams in a great stadium.
Oh, good skill, and he's managed to beat his man. And a timely intervention. And Chelsea get the decision from the referee. Don't forget, we have more live action from the Premier League coming up here on EA TV. It's Chelsea facing Manchester City. Well, the fixtures are coming thick and fast. It should be a good game, that. Hopefully, I've not just given it the commentator's curse. Kukureya. Goalkeeper has it. What's the keeper doing here? Oh, that is an outrageously good stop. Well, great reflexion from the keeper. He did brilliantly there. And a substitution in the offing. Let's see about the delivery. Danger still on. Tremendous block. Cutting the ball back. My goodness, that save. Fully stretched he was. One for his own highlights reel. Who can they pick out? Well, not quite the corner he had in mind. Goalkeeper has it. And there's been a change to the scoreline. And Jordan Ayew. Kukureya. This is Thiago Silva. Malo Gusto. And back to Robert Sanchez. Gallagher. And Sanchez has it now. Thiago Silva. Moises Caicedo. The Chelsea move still flowing. Oh, that's a goal at the wrong end. Well, it's every defender's nightmare. An own goal here. Well, here it is again, and quite clearly, that's an own goal. He's a bit unfortunate, really. So the current scoreline, 4-2. And apologies to Alex for having to interrupt her. Just to confirm, Manchester City did score in that game. And their advantage at the moment stands at 2-0. Ezzy. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. This attack looks highly promising. And in! Oh, yes! Exactly what they were hoping to produce. They've delivered the goal. And the ball is moving again, and there's no getting away from it. Chelsea are really in the mood here. It's looking promising. That's a useful cross. And into the last 15 minutes of action. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Now can they counter clinically? You can't really tackle like that and expect to get away with it. Booking it to come, you would think. And a yellow card for that, Stuart. And he's going to have to be careful now. That was a silly challenge.
Thiago Silva. Kukureya. And just receiving news of a goal at the Etihad. Alex Scott, what can you tell us? It's a goal for Everton. They're now behind by one with 10 minutes left on the clock. Alex, thank you very much. Really targeting the keeper. Unable to get himself back onside here. Well, he was always going to be offside. That was the wrong option. Resting like that will help the cause. Well, he has the measure of his man. It might be. Oh, a stellar piece of defending. And he might be through here. There it is. A fantastic goal. And no wonder he's off celebrating. Well, if there were any lingering doubts about the outcome, surely they now have been removed. What a goal to let you know about in the City game. Alex Scott has the information for us. Yeah, it's a third goal for Manchester City. It was a volley that was mishit. It totally fooled everyone, including the goalkeeper. They've pulled one back with only a few minutes left to play. Thanks for the update, Alex. And a big chunk of added time here, a minimum of five minutes. Thiago Silva. Gusto. Oh, he's lost possession of the ball. Full credit, wonderful stop. Trying to pick out a teammate. And well, the main thing is to thump it away. Full-time then, the referee's whistle, and it's a win for Chelsea. That's the big headline, Stuart. Well, in terms of possession and chances created, they were second best. But they kept plugging away and got a very good win in the end.